Hey there, everybody. I hope you are doing good. We are working on a junk mail journal, and it's been a really fun process. I did a long video yesterday about uh, how this came together, so I thought today we would just kind of uh, do some finishing work with it. I wanted to show you what we have done so far. I did add a cover. A cover was one of those like large-ish kind of uh, advertising envelopes that you might get in the mail. Sometimes you get like special offers and things like that. And the envelopes are really cool. I was going to go through my envelopes over here to see if I could find one that was big like that. And I I don't have one over here, but it, you know, it's a rather big envelope, so it made a, a super nice cover. I did have to de, uh, de address and depersonalize it, so I just added a few little collage elements to it. I think the two things that we're going to do today is we're going to add a little bit of collage on the cover as well as some writing spaces on the signature itself. So let's just kind of flip through here. And this is the way the signature is looking. I have not bound the signature yet. We'll do that in another video. But this, it's all junk mail. I think that we think that we have to purchase things to make things. One of my favorite creators is Jenny Belly. And 10 years ago, Jenny Belly, the reason that I started watching her was because she believed in DIY. You know, she made her own washi tape. She made her own journaling cards. She made her own journals. She did everything herself. And to me, that was just fascinating. I, as a lot of us, uh, don't have... A disposable income to purchase a whole lot of stuff to make stuff right um, I I think I have like three punches you know and I I don't have a Sizzix or uh, I don't have stuff like that because it's expensive and I, I'm I'm not um, not only can I not do it can I not afford it I don't really want to do it because you know if you're if you're doing things yourself, you get a lot more um, value and satisfaction out of a do-it-yourself kind of project than you do something that is pre-made, right? All right, so uh, that said, I do have a few things over at the Etsy store that I made for you guys, so please, uh, there's a link in the description box below, so please take a look at that. Let me grab my glasses really quick. I also don't have any scissors over here, so I'm going to grab grab some scissors as well, and we'll just kind of finish up this signature and collage the cover. All right. <clears throat> I am still croaky from a, um, a cold that I had in um, January. So there's that. Sorry. I will try not to croak out on you. I'm just taking some pages from a little notepad. You know, you can get these anywhere. Somebody gave this to me. I think, isn't Greenbrier International Dollar Tree? I haven't been in a Dollar Tree in... Oh, my God forever and ever and ever. I don't have a car anymore. And I, I go out once a week to go to the grocery store and pick up whatever I need to pick up. But you know, as for going to do anything else, I, I just don't do it anymore. I think the best way to kind of handle this signature thing is to pull everything out and then just add my writing spaces. And don't worry if you, I mean, if you're worried that you love the way your signature is put together, then, you know, maybe uh, just use your phone and take a little video of it or, you know, a little photography montage of it just so you remember. But I'm, I'm not, like, super fussed about that because I figure I can always, uh, I can always, um, 
I can always redo it into, you know, into whatever. These pages are, um, they're, they're kind of thin, but they do work as a, you know, as a writing space. And of course you can use lined paper or you can use, um, unlined paper and, you know, the unlined paper would be fun for, uh, sketching. And you can trim the paper however you want. And it's, uh, to me, I like having the text that is on this, this item kind of show through. I think that that just adds another layer of interest. This is kind of a short-ish kind of thing over here. So I think I'm going to dive in my, into my, um, remember we put this together. It's just elements to add to our journal journal and I like uh, I like to eat oatmeal in the morning I also really do like grits in the morning again I got a really super bad cold and I got really sick in January after my mom passed away I did not know that that was it's kind of a common thing to you know, to have a, an odd sort of illness uh, that grief and anxiety cause illness. And that was, you know, that was a surprise. Um, I did not know that. And we're just kind of trimming things up here. I could fold this up. And kind of uh, make another little writing space here but I don't think I'm gonna do that I am gonna fold it and tear it because I like torn paper and like I said you know do what you want to do I also think we're gonna add some juicy edges here I think that that would be fun as well. I got this super crooked. All right. Um, here I need to add something. Um, I made these little prompts again out of junk mail. We're not using anything that is not junk mail. That's a nice little prompt there. Works out really well. I love flow. <laughs> I love flow. And uh, so I wanted to put a flow piece in here. This has um, this has cellophane envelope. So I think I might just I'm just kind of looking through my little box here. If I might have something that um, I think this one would fit, and I think maybe this would fit. I could use these as journaling cards, so I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna go for this and just put open this up and just put that in there. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, for up here, I'm just gonna seal this with some with some washi because I'm not gonna. You could leave it open and stick other things in here, but I'm not gonna do that. You also have to be a uh, a little bit observant of not making your uh, this is the place where you're going to bind everything together. It, it needs to not be quite so chunked up. Does that, that make sense? It does make sense, right? And you'll want to, uh, to be sure that it is easy to get your needle through. If, if something like this has a lot of chunky components to it, it's really hard to, um, it's hard to get a needle through to bind your book together. Let me put that there. 
Okay, and over here we can again just kind of use some washi. I like this washi, but it doesn't stick very well. So let's just let's, let's see if it sticks on to paper. You might not want to put it quite all the way to the end. And I'm sitting here thinking that this might be a nice um, gratitude journal. It's going to be super simple, really easy to use. All right, so let's kind of flip through here and see what we have now. It's coming along. I really love this. Um, got lots of opportunities to put some writing space here. <clears throat> These are the insides of envelopes. We think we got to buy paper. We don't. We can always kind of, you know, if, if you get if you get mail, then you've got paper coming in every day. You, there are all manner of free publications at the grocery store, or you know, at the bookstore, or wherever you uh, get out and about during the day, or during your you know, your daily rounds or your weekly rounds, like I have weekly rounds. But there are always magazines, books. I noticed that there's a, um, there are, you know, I even saw telephone books not long ago at the grocery store on the, the little display in the lobby of the grocery store. And I was like, well, look at that. That's pretty cool. So I bought none of this paper. This is all stuff that, that came in the mail. It was going to be junked or recycled. I wouldn't junk it. I would, I would recycle it. So that's made the sweet, just a really sweet little page. Perfecto. All right, this one I just really do like. You guys saw me kind of struggle with, you know, <laughs> what can I put over here? So I think I'm just going to, um, let's see if that might work. Well, you know, it is. Um, so I'm going to do that there. I also am pretty big into not thinking really hard about things because if you think really hard about them, then you don't make that spontaneous decision. And the spontaneous decision is often the best and most interesting, you know, decision that you can make is the spontaneous one. I think we will put some washi tape over here. And then we're going to have to... I'm just going to even this page out by adding a little bit of washi tape. And then there's going to be a place on the back that's going to have a little sticky washi tape on it. Oops. There we go. All right. And you can see that right there. So I think what I'll do right here is just just kind of equal that out right there. And again, with some washi. Leanne sent this to me and I love it. This is very whimsical and fun to play with. And there 
there's just a little piece in there. Okay, cool. That worked out really well. And then we've got Billy Graham here. Uh, the first video I talked about uh, my sister and me taking mom to the Billy Graham library that's in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it was such a great trip. Oh, it was wonderful because it was, you know, Mama was feeling good and um, still able to do a lot of walking. Uh, but it was super nice because there are plenty of places to sit down and kind of rest and, and reflect. And it was just really a very special, sweet time for us. I'm glad that we had the opportunities to have special sweet Tom with our dear, dear mama. We just loved her so much. Still do. Right, and I've got um, a little heart right here. I think we'll add that in as well. Let's, let's put that over here like this. All right, now we've got that one done. Mm, take a quick little flip flip, see how we're doing. We've only got three more pages to go. Very junky, very DIY-ish. I think I'm gonna put this here. All right, we've got three more, and then I will do some collage. This really doesn't need anything. This is good the way it is. I do, um, yeah, this can go here. This probably doesn't need a lot either. So let's just see what we have over here. Envelope innards. They're also interesting, aren't they? they? Have different patterns and <laughs> cute. Ah, uh, but. And I can put here. Hmm. Let's go back to. Don't you love stuff like this? I do. Let's see what we have here. We could use. Or. Could do my chuching pig. Do you like my pig? Let's do that. There's also a lot of magic in, uh, just doing a little bit every day. You know, if you get to the end of the day uh, and you haven't done any art, and if, you, if you're like me, you kind of feel a little deflated. Like, you know, you, like, like your day was just not complete, that you didn't, you you just didn't feel like you did something, anything. You know, especially now, sometimes I get to the end of the day and I'm like, exactly what did I do? Which, I, can, I mean, I'm busy all day long. All day long. You know. So I don't know why I'm, I'm very hard on myself if I haven't done anything creative. I really need that creative outlet every single day. Okay, we did some collage here, so we're good with this one. And this one will go in the middle because it provides a nice stability for the inside. 
of our journal. All right, let's do a bit of collage. And I think we're going to call that a day today. I love all of this. Um, this is a page of Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Tagalog, and Vietnamese. I taught English as a second language in the public schools in the mid 1990s, early 1990s. So interesting. So anything like language is um, very interesting to me. So let's decide on what we're going to put on the cover. Like again, you know, I love flow, which doesn't quite fit there. I really like that. I really like this. And these are things that we just pulled out of junk mail. I think this one is going to be a journaling card. I do like that. I like the word freedom, so I think we might just kind of collage some things together and see how that might work out for us. that but just not quite what I'm looking for so let's jump back into our junk mail and see if there's anything I really love these colors and I think what I think what I might do is just do some uh, do some flowers on the front and that might work out. Oh, wait. I found something super cool. This is a DoorDash ad. I love the red. I like the flowers. I like that she is dressed in a dress. But she has on sneakers. I love the flowers, so I think that's what we're going to do. Isn't it crazy how you just spawn things that uh, align with? And I think we're going to offset it just like that. And I've got some red down here, so we'll use this as a... And then I've got the word freedom. What do you think? I think freedom is a um, freedom is a real theme right now with me being 66 uh, because I don't feel free. I feel encumbered and I feel um, I do not feel free <laughs> uh, because of a lot of reasons, you know, and I need to not feel. I need to feel freer. Um, so maybe this is going to be, um, maybe the reason that I don't feel free is because I'm not grateful for the, for the things that I have in my life. So, you know, I talked about this being a gratitude journal. Maybe it's a, a gratitude journal that works me up the emotional guidance scale to some sort of freedom. So let's, let's just take it from there. Uh, this would may be, a really good uh, juicy edge so I'm just gonna put that in my little thing here I think I'm good there I am not going to carry on any sort of collaging here because again this is the spine of our book um, 
I'm just kind of looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, is there anything else I want to put in here? We're talking about freedom, and I think that that speaks to freedom, the ability to just go and do what you want. I'm just not there. And it's okay, because a lot of us are just not there. It is a complicated world. And um, especially if you're retired, or if you if you're like me and you were kind of forced into retirement because in 2020 everything just went away that I um, used to create income um, my freelance businesses went under and now you know I used to write bios and things for people and I help them with liner notes in their, um, you know, in, in their new releases and things like that. And now that just doesn't happen anymore. But that's, that is, again, that's okay. Um, we all have, have different journeys and we're seeking freedom in different ways. Okay, so there we go. I am loving this. I think it's come, turning out really well. And again, you know, it is a junk mail journal. Um, so I hope that you will continue to join me on this little journey and start your very own junk mail journal. You can do it because Lord knows we get lots and lots and lots and lots of junk mail. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon.